So when we pray, we often come from a feeling tone of needy or deficit. So we feel we lack that which we pray for. And so that creates a tension. So I would like to do something unusual. I want to pose these prayers as a question because the mind lets it in more. It just considered, oh, what would that be like? And really feel it in your heart and in your whole body. And Padre and Rick and Bobby and all of us are also adding and blessing us to let this in. It is what we want. And remember that activating healing life force we generated in our hands earlier with those supercharged hands to your heart. I want you to know that each one of you is God's precious and unexpected diamond. What would it feel like to know, to receive and experience complete worthiness and love without condition? Just because God created us as his child. What would it feel like to know that it is not even possible to be abandoned and alone? Because I am my divine father and mother's very own flesh and blood. What would it feel like if my divine lit up my whole body with healing light right now and I could open to it and fully receive it? What would it be like if I fully allowed the grace that wants to help me to clear this mind of all doubt and inner conflict? <sighs> what would it be like to let go of anxiety about life, the world, myself, and just be totally present in this holy moment? What would it feel like if all that I regret was totally forgiven and released? What would it be like if I knew that everything in my life is perfectly unfolding as it needs to and I could relax into it and trust the process? What would life be like if I saw everything as a diamond and a gift unconditionally? Let's let that in as a possibility. Thank you. I invite each of you now to open. open to serve as a channel, a channel for the love of God, a channel for the light of God, a channel for the healing of God. That it pour first into you and fill you, each and every one on this session everyone who will watch it later, everyone in our community, everyone each of their lives touches. That each of us is a manifestation of the light of God, of the love of God. And that we recognize in the other, and the other is every other, 
everything that is not of our perceived self. We recognize the light of God and the love of God in that being. And we say yes to it. We say yes to opening our hearts, a flourishing of the heart. And this manifests throughout our world. Each and every one of us encountering the other and seeing in them the light and love of God that they see also in themselves. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Love God. We are each God. I pray us awakening to this throughout the world. I pray us treating each other like this throughout the world. Both our fellow human beings, the animals, the plants, the earth herself. We are all God. We deserve love. You deserve love. And let this flow through you as a clear, powerful channel. You are a channel for this love and this healing for yourself and for everyone whom your life touches. And to do so locally in your relationships and also non-locally calling this light in and we collectively serve as a channel for the light and love of God to interpenetrate all of the earth plane manifesting in every moment. Healing, light and love for each and for all. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brother Rick. There's such a presence here. I just want to acknowledge God in all his her way that has favor, abundance, healing on its wings for you personally. Just as a, a minister I mentioned my name, beloved son, God wants to mention your name as we pray tonight. So as your name is being spoken, that's your divine touch from the heavenly realm, from your creator. I've heard your prayer, hear your heart prayer. So just receive that. May the consuming fire of the Holy Spirit touch your heart, heal your emotions, heal your bodies. And all those who you're praying for, those in the hospital, those who are going through treatments of chemo, um, those who are going to have surgery, or those who just had surgery, those who lost a loved one or a beloved um, pet, we just say, God, continue to pour out your Holy Spirit in all her ways. And may we delight in the miracles, the signs and wonders that capture our hearts tonight. I thank you, God, for your treasure of your presence. I thank you, God, for your living presence. Thank you, God, for your love of each of us. As we behold your presence, your glory, may miracle signs and wonders be established in your home, in your business, in your community, in this world, as we continue to open up our hearts to the more. And I bless you as your Padre for those signs and wonders, miracles happen in your life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May you be richly blessed.